We're just kind of going to see like where the day takes us today. <laughs> We were gonna do a vlog. Are you coming in? Come on. This guy, he's always trying to steal my snacks. Aren't you, Eddie? Aren't you, Eddie? Oh my gosh, my camera. Are you going to sit for a picture? Look at him. That Eddie, I tell you. Good morning. We're gonna do a vlog today. A really exciting vlog. Uh, we're gonna film a 2023 nail favorites video, except it's gonna be like a compilation of using the products for nail art, which I think is just such a fun concept, something a little bit different than I usually do when I talk about products. It's kind of be a behind the scenes of my day getting ready to film and it's been a little bit since I've been in here with Christmas holidays and stuff. Like the studio needs like a good tidy. We're just kind of going to see like where the day takes us today. <laughs> As you can see, I painted my nail studio. I'm so excited. Oh, I did this um, a little bit ago now and actually probably about a month ago now. And I absolutely love it. That brown was driving me insane. And that brown is actually in two other bedrooms in this house. And it's on my wish list to have them painted as well, or to paint them myself. I do not like painting. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I've been brainstorming for a few days, like what kind of nail art I want to do with my 2023 favorites. And also like, okay, which one, what were my 2023 favorites? I did like a lot more nail art when I was a part of the press-on shop that I'm doing kind of right now, like more it's, right now it's more like product sharing and such. Um, so I'm trying to think like, okay, which products did you love this year? I really just have been craving creating lately. Like I haven't sat down and just created in a while. So I'm looking forward to doing that. My computer, oh my gosh, you guys. So my computer, I have been struggling with how slow it's been for a very, very long time. Kind of just like, learned techniques to make it be a little bit faster like I would delete some footage um I would work with like nothing on my computer except for the video that I was editing and I would just try and figure it out and then the other day I like I don't get a lot of just dedicated time to be in the studio when my kids are like sick or anything like that I said to my husband I'm gonna go work for the evening I'm gonna go spend like an hour working just get some you know short form content edited and whatnot. I had about an hour and a half to be in here and I got maybe like three edits done in the video. Like, and when I say edits, I mean like you've got your whole long thing of video and I like chopped three parts of it. And if you create content on a computer, that doesn't take very long. Like that's chopping. It's not, it's not supposed to take very long. And it took me probably about 45 minutes just to do those three edits because it kept like freezing and it was so slow. And I just said, I'm like, I cannot do this anymore with this computer. So I took it in to get looked at and they ended up replacing the hard drive on it. Give me a sec. I cannot talk while I do this. Took it in. They ended up replacing, ended up replacing the hard drive, except I took it in like right before Christmas. So it basically sat there all for, through the Christmas break and I was able to go pick it up and it is so much faster. It's ridiculous. Like I can actually edit now because honestly, you guys, it was really hard to want to edit when it was taking me like 10 times as long to edit a video. Um, but now it's just so quick that I can get a lot done in the limited amount of time that I can be in the studio, which is awesome. I have the entire day today. I'm, I'm probably going to be in here like well into the evening tonight, which I am very much excited about because I have not spent that much time in here lately. You guys like a little kind of a mini tour as to like what the studio looks like after we tidy it too. <laughs> Like that thing like I really like what it does with my hair but your hair has to be like basically dry <laughs> to use it or else it takes way too long I usually just like let my hair air dry and then just go in and do it oh it gets super super hot too I'm gonna do my nails and I think I'm gonna use one of these new opry colors one of these like sparkly ones
Sarah's channel. She has been posting a ton of videos, and I am incredibly behind on her stuff. Then let's do this one. See, like you guys, which ones do you tend to grab gravitate towards? I don't know. I love vlogs. I love anything Sarah posts, but if I'm like gonna pick a video, I want to watch vlogs. I just like them. Show me what you're doing. Tell me everything. Oh, they're a little dog. I feel like I don't have her best quality turned on. No, I don't. But this vlog is so good. If you guys haven't seen Sarah's like decorate with me studio vlog, so good. She's got some cool stuff going on in this vlog. I got this to put the hand soap and um, cute. Brush on for my clients. Two dollars. So cute, little reindeer. So cute. <laughs> <gasps> cool. Roses all over them, but I want to put them in this room, I think, because it's really girly in here. But what would you put in here? Would you put oh, nail tips. Here all the time is my office. Would you put your family and your dogs, or would you put like nail art? <laughs> nail art. I also got this frame for. My hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I have a super fun and exciting video for you. Katie got a new camera. So I'm like checking it out with her video. Oh, it looks so good, Katie. Oh, she always shares the coolest stuff. Ooh, that's smart. I wanted to show you guys the package that came in. This will be in that Black Friday haul too, but we'll just go through it super quick. Katie had shared these on her Instagram at some point, and I have ever since then wanted them. Um, and so for Black Friday, I was like, yep, yeah, I'm ordering that. A couple of different decals here. So there's this one with some gummy bears and some rainbows. This one, I love the little trolls on it. And this one, I loved the size of these decals. They're super, super tiny. So they're going to be great for small nail beds. Uh, this one, the little mushies. Those were what sold me on this one. And then I loved the color palette of this one and particularly the stars and the clouds. And I did get some Christmas ones with the like full intention of using them for a compilation video and obviously they came after Christmas. <laughs> those I'll have to save for next year. These are just unique. They remind, they remind me of those earrings from like the 90s that you'd like put on your ears, like the little sticker ones. Um, and I loved the stars on this one. I'm a pastel Christmas as well, which some of these would be great for like winter nails, but some of them are definitely more Christmassy. Uh, so I'm looking forward to trying out these decals. I thought these were so unique and was really excited to try them. We just finished tidying. I'm gonna give you guys a little mini tour. So here it is with the pink. Looks so much better. It's kind of like like this color over here. It's a little bit more of what it actually shows true to. Like it's a rosy pink, which is nice. It matches the pink in the wallpaper. Oh, and new lace curtains and a new chandelier too. You walk into the space and immediately my computer desk is right here. I have my planner cart right beside it as well. And then right beside that is kind of like I guess like my shipping area, that little cart, I've got some of my shipping supplies on it. My nail desk over here, which is mostly used for content and creating some press on orders. And then one Alex unit right here, which has a cat on it. Two carts. This is my stamping cart. 
And then this one here is kind of like my new releases to-do list. I've got my press-ons down there and then my gloves as well. And then behind that is another two Alex units stacked together. This is not supposed to be here. This is supposed to be up here. <laughs> Some different nail art right over there. My little crystal organizer. And then this is my gel polish wall. I did have two Alex units out here and I ended up moving one into the closet over here. That closet's way too messy. I don't feel like showing you guys that mess. And then I was able to condense all my polish racks to fit most of my polish racks to fit on this one instead. Uh, and then I have my makeup desk in here, which is the main reason why I wanted to reorganize everything in this space is because I wanted to be able to get my makeup desk in here for days that I'm getting ready and I'm doing my makeup. This was actually my first nail table. It was a brown sofa table. And after I was done using it for nails, I had it painted and then this like lace print kind of put on top and a glass top on it. So I've been using it for makeup ever since. However, when we first moved in this house, I didn't really know where to put it, what to do with it. Um, and I was finding my makeup was okay in the bathroom and then I wasn't finding it was okay in the bathroom for a bit. Uh, so now it's in here and I'm so happy about it. That was the main reason why I wanted to do this big shuffle, but this is what this space looks like. Truly probably one of my favorite nail spaces. I love how it all came together. I love how it's laid out and it just functions so, so well for me. watching Sarah's vlog and I loved it and I was like you know what I should add some thrifting content to this vlog <laughs> so I'm gonna go get the things they're in the back the house that we moved into is like an 80s build house so it's decor that I'm going for in that house is more vintage so uh, a lot of the items that you're gonna see are like more vintagey type of things my nails again look awful because they can last I can go like a week <laughs> with my gel polish nails and then I get picky Okay, I'll go get the items. I thought about doing this when I got home, but my kids are gonna be all over me. I did get them a couple of items, so they're gonna wanna see them and play them, play with them right away. Play with them? I don't know if there's anything they could play with, but I love shawls. <laughs> love them, love them so, so much. And this one's not really a shawl, it's like more of a poncho. They actually had to like take it apart or off of the hanger just to see how you wear it, but it's leopard, which I was so excited about. I love this and it's so soft, so soft. I only buy shawls that are soft. <laughs> this plate, like how pretty is it for Valentine's Day? I'm going to put it on our kitchen table and then have like your salt and your pepper and your napkins and all that stuff on it. I think $5. There's a lot of home decor. These, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, this is what I mean by vintage, like, this is my style. I love these. So there was two of them, $2 each, and I love stuff that has, like, these, um, like, lace or, like, frilly details. I just, I don't know, I just love it. I know it's not for everybody. Pot holder, cute little Valentine's Day pot holder. Uh, I also love doilies so, so much. My grandma, uh, she used to make these doilies and... And stuff and I've got a lot from her but I also if I ever find ones that have like cute colored patterns I tend to pick them up because I really really like having these throughout my house I've got this really really big rainbow one that I have in the kids playroom and I just love it some gift wrap because it was only 25 cents and I love the print on it and I think this will be good for wrapping press-ons 
excellent brand of puzzles for kids. It's called Crocodile Creek. And new, these puzzles can range anywhere from like $30 to $50. Um, I got this one for three, but I kept thinking, I'm like, Talia, you should have opened it because hopefully all the pieces are here. Yes, okay, all the pieces are here. But what's cool about these is they are really good quality. Um, the pieces are generally a little bit bigger, so they're good for little hands like this. Um, but they, oh, they usually have like weird shapes when the puzzles are done. And my kids love that. So Crocodile Creek, if you ever see this name, great for puzzles. This, I don't know where this is going to go. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to use it for, but I thought it was so cute. It's got like the little hooks on the bottom and then it's just like a little curtain, like a little green curtain. These things can like move the curtain over. <laughs> so random, but um, I think, and like obviously you could put mail in it or something. I'm, I'm going to use this for keys, obviously, like mail and stuff up here. I'm just not sure where in my house this is going to go, but you're gonna see that with some of my stuff. They're just like so random. Okay, another shawl. This one is an actual shawl that you wrap around. Again, only got it because it's so, so soft. Um, This tray, because it's floral. And I love uh, baskets and trays and stuff like this. I have them all over my house. I'm actually thinking this one's gonna go in my bedroom downstairs. Um, a couple books for my kids. I love looking for books at the thrift store. This one's called me tell, or this one's called tell me why. Different sections like history, nature, human body, animals, daily life, and the universe. And I kind of liked like the tabs of it. I don't know. I thought it was kind of a cool book. This one we love this author, and we do not have this one. I am peace. Two dollars was that book. Um, and then I got a Paw Patrol book for one of my girls. My kids love Paw Patrol. This I have a vintage floral wall with like vintage floral pictures on it and I'm going to add this one to it. I'm kind of just looking for small picture frames for that wall. This wooden salt thing and I liked it because it was divided by two. I have one of these already for salt. Um, I love it. I use it all the time but I wish I had one for pepper as well. So I think the one that I am oh and this one's magnetic too which I also really like. The one that I'm using currently I'll probably put in my kids little kitchen. Canisters came in a three pack loved them I'm gonna make a little my husband has a really cute like shelf for his coffee maker and I want some cute accessories for it and I really liked these I've been on the hunt for canisters for that area for a while now always on the hunt for good baskets I use these mostly to organize my kids toys throughout the house I will, I will just put like little characters in here or anything and I'll just leave these out so I liked the shape of this one I make snack trays for my kids all the time and I'm always on the hunt for cute snack tray like dishes. So I found this one. It's got like a really cool divide. I actually thought about using this one in the nail studio, but I can't think of what to use it for. And it's kind of like big, like I wouldn't use it at my nail desk. And then this one, which just has like fruit on it. Um, and then the last thing I just got this jewelry box because my girls have a couple like nicer pieces of jewelry that I've bought them and I have nowhere to put them. So this was $8 and I'm going to clean it out. I thought about maybe, maybe someday I'll paint it, but for now I'm just going to put their nice jewelry in it and that'll work. I've been looking again at jewelry boxes for my girls for a bit, but dang, like they're so expensive for kids' jewelry boxes. It's everything I picked up at the thrift stores though. Um, I don't go thrifting very often. I don't like always bring home this much stuff, that's for sure, but I did pretty good at the thrift stores today, I thought.